All right, now we're going to look at grid layout. And grid layout is the newest of the um, layout properties that have been added. And you get it through display grid. So similar to display flex, flex you have display grid. Um, and I have to admit, I am still learning all the things you can do it. You can do with it. You can do, um, obviously, you can do grids with them, straight up grids that look kind of like um, what we did with Flexbox layout. But what we're going to do here is something a little different because it just kind of, I think, shows the power of this um, product. So back in 2006, when I was working on, you know, layout and still kind of wrestling with table tag layouts, there was this idea that there was this holy grail layout that was done um, using various techniques at the time. But our goal was to get to a header, a footer, a left nav, some content, and a right. So this was the holy grail layout, and it really was quite a bit of work. I think I was still using floats back then as well, and you know, clearing them and all of that. It got it was it, it got to be pretty tricky. So what we're going to do with grid layout is we're going to do a holy grail layout, and we're going to be given a. Um, it's some HTML that just has these basic um, semantic areas, header, nav, left nav, main, aside, and footer. And we're going to use flex to, or I'm sorry, we're going to use grid to, to turn those into um, the holy grail. And now the holy grail only works on a large screen, so, you know, desktop or something like that, or laptop. So we're going to do this, um, you know, responsively. Uh, with mobile first. We're going to develop it that way. So uh, let's take a look here too. We have um, we have an index HTML that is given to us. So we have a container and this container will be able to use that to apply the grid layout. And then um, we have the header, a nav, and we've got a class header on that. But we have our semantic tags, header, nav, the aside. Um, we have two asides, and we're going to make one the left nav, the other just an aside. And then we have our section. And this role is a, um, that is an a, a accessibility attribute that allows us to say, OK, if you're reading and you see that we have a section, this is the main section. I think there is actually a main tag, so I could have used that, but I'm just using this section with a roll of main. And then I've got the header in it, and I've got the, this is where I put the main content. So all of that again renders looking like this, not much to it, certainly no no real layout. If anything, this probably looks more like a, res, uh, a mobile layout. And we're going to take advantage of that, you know, to, to get our mobile first responsive layout. So uh, all of the work we're going to do is in CSS. And um, so let's add a CSS to this. We'll add a, first a CSS folder and our styles, style.css. We will uh, go into our index and add that. So. L equals style sheet and href equals CSS style. And now we're ready to start adding some styling. So first of all, we're going to just do some kind of global reset styling here by setting border box for box sizing, clearing out, padding, and margin. And this is important when working with some of these uh, more advanced layouts, is we don't want to have the interference of padding and margin. We can add those later if we need them. And then we want to set the full height. So we'll do HTML and body. And that's, I don't know that you really need both of those, but you know what? It's good to be clear that we want to have our HTML tag 100, 100 viewport. And that 100 viewport means was equivalent to a 100% screen there, and then our body as well, filling up the HTML 100 view height. Then 
we are going to we have that container and we want to give it a the grid layout so it's going to be the, the parent container will be display grid and then we have some new syntax grid template columns so in a grid we have the idea of columns and rows and we're just dealing with columns here but this one fr is a new unit a fractional unit and um, with fr um, we can um, tell it to to size those things evenly so any column that ends up inside of this grid will get the same fractional percent fractional unit of width and then grid gap five pixels so we're saying we want a little bit of space between anything and let's take a look here where we're going by the way so this is this is what we're trying to get to this holy grail layout so we've got just got a very simple thing and we aren't really doing much as far as measuring the heights or filling them with content but you can see this this white space is the grid gap and then we have our header we have our footer we have a nav area we have left nav main and a side so this is all done with very little code because of this grid layout and so setting up the grid is just giving us this five pixels and we again we want to fill the entire page with this grid so that as you resize the screen it just continues to fill out the page um, to fill out the screen and then we've given it some this light gray background um, the next thing that we want to do so where are we at now in terms of this is we've we've given all of these you know some dimension and given it some color but we're pretty much looking like again like um, this is how we would want it to look or to behave in mobile so we're mobile first we are providing the default layout mobile first but then we want for a larger screen we're going to use a media query and we're using minwit 600 so this would apply to uh, a tab a, a tablet um, but as soon as you got down into phone size you would go back to that mobile first layout and let's take a look at what we're going to give what we're going to do and this is where all the magic of rearranging things comes in is we're setting the we're telling it to repeat the column six times with one fractional unit so we're saying imagine that there is or that there are six columns making up this window and that each the size of each one of the columns is one fr and then we are telling it in the container for the header nav and footer have the grid column span six so we have six and we're telling it to span six so that means for header nav and footer they take up the full width of the space which is essentially the full screen but for the section which is if you remember where that's kind of our main section we're saying uh, that spans four of them so um, instead of spanning the full six it's going to span just four of them and the effect that that should have is that it's going to take up not the full uh, width of this not not all six columns but just four and that leaves room for these two on the on the side so very little code here no no floating no tables and um, let's just see if that works so yes there it is we've got our holy grail layout and as I shrink this down when I get to a certain size it becomes a, a mobile a mobile layout so this is just an example that brings together some of the grid ideas with with the some of the responsive and and media query ideas and there, as I say, this is just the tip of the iceberg. So if you're interested in this, it's well worth spending time. I'm spending time on it. And there's some resources here. There's a game, much like Flexbox Froggy, that can help you learn how to understand all the properties and how they work. There's also um, lots of information. And these are just, you can actually Google and find a lot more. Uh, so that is, and then I do have a question here that says, notice that we get our left and right columns by allowing the HTML element between the asides only for the six columns. 
what would you change if you only wanted a right aside column? So let's just say um, that I, instead of, let's just see if I, instead of having two asides essentially, so let's just say I just wanted this right aside, how could I get that? What would I need to change? And let's just take a look at what we would do. First of all, we would take out the, the, the left nav, which is that left aside. And if I do that, you see it leaves an empty space there because this is being directed to just fill four of the columns. And then this one is just picking up one of them. So what we would need to do is to, if we wanted to fill that gap, we'd be to um, set this equal to five. And that would give us a full, a fully fleshed out um, layout. But to turn in this assignment, let's just keep it at four, and we'll leave this on, and we'll go back to our holy grail layout. So the holy grail layout, unfortunately, it's not, it's not as, you know, called for as it used to be. But, but you still get, it's still kind of similar idea and. And like I said, this layout, to, to get your screen to respond like that, it, it used to take JavaScript to keep track of the sizes of everything and be changing them as the screen changed. So this is really a, a neat thing. And I encourage you to, to learn more about the grid layout because it's definitely a, been a big improvement. Let's go ahead and check this in. So get status and get commit get push all right looks good